Killer Bee's true identity. Is it true that they're not having nightmares anymore? Yes. The venom is completely worn off now. Well, that's great news. Where are you going, Max? There's something I need to check out. Huh? huh? Hello, Max. <laughs> you can stop acting now. Huh? Admit it. You're an alien! <sighs> Come clean with your true identity! It's true. You did trick me then. Not true. I had no idea you were a mini force agent. Weren't you pretending to be an earthling just to trick us? No, I. I never meant to deceive you. And you expect me to believe that? You're one of Xenos' underlings! That was all in the past. <laughs> when I used to work for Xenos, I was the venomous assassin Killer Bee. I used my venom to vanquish countless enemies of Xenos. One day, under orders from Master Xenos, I destroyed the planet of flowers and everyone living on it. I thought that they were the enemy and the evil. But that was... it was not true. Xenos just didn't like the scent of the space violet flower. Just for that reason, I couldn't allow myself to be used by Xenos anymore. So then I ran away for good. I decided to hide my identity and live here on planet Earth. And it was here I planted the single remaining blue violet over here. But then, why did you attack all those people? Have you gone back to working for Xenos? That, that is, that is the truth. Killer B has decided to return to the service of Master Xenos. Who are you? I'm Xenos' right-hand man. My name is Zord. Zord? Killer B, it's time to get rid of this mini-force agent. Never. No longer shall I listen to his commands. I shall fight alongside mini-force to protect planet Earth and my flowers. How foolish you are. Did you think you could defy Master Xenos just like that? <laughs> you need to accept the truth and the power of darkness that Master Xenos granted. Kira! Please get rid of this obstacle now. What have you done to him? <laughs> Xenos has granted him enormous power and he's just succumbed. What? So then, he's not in control of himself. <laughs> what? What was that? Hey, Max, are you okay? Hey, guys, are you all right now? Yeah, no worries at all, Max. Hop in, Max. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Kira, Kira, can you hear me? Kira? Kira? But the one who was growing those flowers. He's actually this alien? <laughs> he tricked us. We can't let him get away. Everyone attack. Time to defeat this alien. Wait, wait up, Bolt. Kira didn't, 
mean to deceive us at all. He was just brainwashed by that alien there called Zord. Let me try to talk to Kira first. Kira, it's Max here. Don't you recognize me? Kira, please wake up. It's Max, your friend. Just give me, just give me a little more time. Oh, Max. Come on, wake up, Kira. Show us that you're stronger than this. This just isn't right. It just isn't right. Kira, that's right. You know this is not who you really are. <sighs> who I really am. Be strong. You're really something, trying to overcome Xenos' power of darkness. However, the power of darkness always wins. For example... <laughs> It is time now to demonstrate the true power of darkness! The alien is on a rampage! There's no chance he's waking up from this. We need to stop him now! Thank you so much. <laughs> you like flowers? Of course I do. I'm Max. <sighs> Max. <sighs> oh no. What have I done? <sighs> Xenos. Sword. Once again I've been manipulated by them. <sighs> the giant alien has taken Max down. We need to go and save Max. Everyone, fire! No, guys, stop it! Kira! Kira! Kira, please, no! Please, wake up! How useless. Uh, uh, Max, please take care of my flower. You have to take care of it, Kira. Uh, I'm sorry, Max. I think this is the end of my journey on Earth. No, don't say that! It's not right to say things like that. I'm glad that I came here to Earth. Max, I couldn't have met you otherwise. Farewell, my friend. Max, 
Kira! Kira! Don't go! No! Kira! same blue violet that we saw in the garden last time? Uh, Kira gave it to me, since he's had to go far, far away. I understand. Hey, Max, do you know what the violet symbolizes? Symbolize? Mm-hmm. The violet symbolizes true friendship. Oh, friendship. I guess you'd better take good care of it. <laughs> <sighs> Kira. I won't ever let our friendship wilt away, because that, that just wouldn't be right. <laughs> <laughs>